Hi guys, it's Dana. We're gonna have fun today. Um, today is my once a month working on Christmas stuff. And um, so what I've done is I am gonna do some stamping today. And um, it's a project I wanted to do this last Christmas but just didn't have the time. And so I want to show you what I've pulled out and then I just want to show you these because <laughs> these are going to be a couple of, I haven't done a little golden book in several years. And I have found these two at Goodwill over the last few months. And um, I'm picky about the little golden books that I do. I like to do the more, um, um, you know, not just the ones they make about every little Mickey Mouse character or whatever, but the classic story. So Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and this is the Pokey Little Puppy's First Christmas. Just super cute. Oh my gosh, look at the inside cover of that. Oh, it's so cute with the little red um, Christmas stuff. And so um, anyway, these are gonna be some upcoming um, videos at Christmas time. And um, I'm gonna make some little golden book journals out of these. And um, maybe for Christmas in July, maybe we'll do one start to finish for Christmas in July. That would be really fun. So I just wanted to show you those. That's why those are out. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp. I was gonna stamp on coffee dye paper, but as you know from a previous video, I in the last journal I did, I am completely I used every single bit of coffee dye paper that I had left. So what I found in my stash was this that I got on Amazon. And it is, I haven't even opened it. It is just paper that looks like coffee dyed paper. And so this is gonna have to do, this is what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna pull some sheets of that and I will use that instead of coffee dyed tape paper, which is fine. It's really fine with me. So um, I wanna try, I'm, what else I have out is my Christmas scraps. I've got some vintage, uh, I'm vintage, Distress Oxide inks. I've got um, some Christmas colors. I've got Candied Apple and Fired Brick, and I've got Cracked Pistachio and Lucky Clover. I'm not sure we'll use Cracked Pistachio. Pistachio. We'll have to check the color on that. It looks a little bright. I also have Walnut Stain, and then I have Black. Okay, and then I've got several Christmas stamps that, um, Let's see. My sister let me borrow. So I've got this one. This is from Embossing Arts. I've got this one that's really cute. This is from Pine Line Classics. Oh no, Inka Dinka Do. I've got this one, which is a cute little tag. It is also from Inka Dinka Doo. I think the rest of these are from, yeah, Inka Dinka Doo. We've got this one and this one. So I thought what we'd do is stamp, make some journaling cards. This, like I said, this is a project I've wanted to do this past Christmas, but just didn't have time. So I think what I'm gonna do is let's measure these bigger stamps and see, um, they're about three and a half by five. So let's cut some four by six sheets. Let me clear the decks here a little bit. I brought my wipes out because I know we're gonna probably need them. Push the ink back. And let's just ready some, some paper here. I'm just gonna take a couple sheets and these are gonna have to be thickened up. Um, so let's go four. Then we can go four again. And these will be good for 
I'm thinking this tag stamp would fit on there. Yeah, the tag stamp will fit on there and then also the ticket stamp will fit on here. So we'll save these scraps. Then I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna cut them at six. Okay, more scraps that can definitely be used. That gives us four, four by sixes. Let's do a couple of more. And this is not cardstock. So um, they're definitely gonna need to be backed. Maybe even put some book page between them. Okay, let's go six. I like a four by six journaling card um, because if somebody would like to, instead of journaling, put a picture on it, um, they don't have to really cut their picture down that much. Okay, so that gets us started with this. Um, let's do some three by fives. So let's go. Um, let's not right now because I don't know that I have I'd have to look and see if I have any other Christmas stamps because I only have these four, five out to work with. So we're just gonna, before we cut into any more paper, let's just work with what we've got. Okay, so what I wanna do is just stamp some of the images out. So I thought this one, because of the holly leaf and stuff, would be really pretty in either red or green. Let's try green first. And I probably am gonna stand up for a lot of this so that I can get right over. So I'm just taking my ink pad to my stamp because it's a larger stamp. And I'm not sure if my sister used these stamps. Sorry if my head got in there and hit it. So I'm not sure how well seasoned they might be. And I'm just gonna kind of center this the best I can. And press. And I'm gonna press and hold, letting that ink transfer. When you're pressing your stamp, don't wiggle it. A lot of people will take their stamps and go like this with it, and it causes the edges of your images to blur. And because this is distress ink, it's going to um, be more on the blurry side anyway. Okay, let's see how we did. Okay, so I got it crooked, but that's okay. I can always trim the paper around it. That looks really pretty. I like that. Okay, let's do one more. I thought we could do a couple each and if we have to trim more paper, we will. Let me see if I can get it more straight this time. But see, even though that's Distress Ink, it's a very clear image because I did not wiggle my stamp. Okay, and I like that green. I think that the cracked pistachio is gonna to be too bright. Let me see if I can get this straight this time. So just pressing straight down, not wiggling the stamp, and then leaving it so that the ink can transfer.
really nice. I like that stamp. Okay, let's try it in a red. So what I'm gonna do is just stamp off. Might need a bigger stamp off sheet. And if all the ink doesn't come off, I'm not sad about that because I think the red and green mixed would probably be really cute. Okay, I'm gonna go for the more deeper red, which is gonna be the fired brick. So let's do a couple of those. Looks like it was a well-loved stamp. Nice and it's seasoned the, the uh, there's not any spots that aren't stamping on it. Okay, and this one's gonna be a little bit hard to see if I've got it inked really well because it's red on red. There we go, now I can see it. Okay. I'm excited to do this because, I, like I said, I didn't get a chance to do it over Christmas. And uh, I saw Roxy over at Roxy Creations do this where she just stamped on like coffee dyed paper or whatever with her Christmas stamps. And then she just added like washi and stuff. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I love that color on this paper. Ooh, we definitely need to do more of that color. I think I should have cut more paper. <laughs> That's okay. We can always cut more. Which we probably will. I want to do some of each stamp in um, walnut stain and black too, just maybe like one each in those colors. And I need to get my, oh, that is really pretty. Okay. So let's set these aside. I'm gonna do all the images I wanna do out of this stamp, and then we'll move on to the next stamp. So we'll set these aside. I need to get my, I think I'll do a new sheet of this so that it's Christmas colors. And we'll just stamp off on here. That way, when Christmas comes around, we'll have this really cool kind of collage stamped stamp off paper that we can use. Okay, let's do walnut stain and black. I don't know how fun this will be for you guys to just sit and watch me stamp. Probably the decorating is probably the more fun part. I'm upside down, but that's okay. Ooh, that's very light, but it still looks really good. Okay, now let's do black. On this one.
That's really pretty because you can see every little detail. Okay. All right, so that's those. Okay. Let's do... Let's use some of our scraps and do this tag. And we'll just do one of each color. I think I might be able to get two in one. I don't know. No, we're only gonna get one in there, but we can do that and tickets on these. So let's just, we have walnut stain out, so let's go ahead and just use it. See if I can put some more ink on here and get a better, darker image. I'm gonna go down here at the bottom, I think. And I'm just lining up the stamp. I'm not even on camera, sorry guys. I'm lining up the stamped image on the block with the paper. And that's cute. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do black. I'm not gonna even wipe off because I know that's black is gonna overwhelm that walnut stain. I think I might need to re-ink my walnut stain. Pretty. Missed a little bit on the corner, but that's okay. Now we'll do a red and green. I love the fired brick, so I'm going to stick with that. Pretty. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay. I'm going to stick with the Lucky Clover too. Since I found colors I'm super happy with, I'm just going to go ahead and stay with them. Very nice. Okay, now let's take the ends of these and um, use this ticket. I need a drink. I think I can sit down for this one. I think we should be able to get two tickets 
on each of here. Oh my goodness, wow. Okay. I think I like it better, especially with the oxides, when I can go in and take the ink to the stamp. This one looks like it's never been used, so I'm gonna make sure I get a good amount of ink on there. Okay, that's cute. I probably got it too close to my tag, which I'm not happy about. So on the next one, we'll have to be a little careful about that. Put it more toward the end over here. Okay, nice. I'm gonna stamp this off kind of in places that don't. Okay, let's do fired brick. This is fun. I haven't just sat and stamped in so long. Definitely leave myself a little more room for my tag cut out. Okay. You see how the tag's darker? You know why? Because you probably can't see it on camera, but it mixed with I used the black before I used the red. And so you can really see it on that leaf and that's really cool. Okay, let's do black. Okay. Oops. Well, I guess I still need the stamp, yeah? <laughs> I'm gonna put these two aside so I don't get confused. Very nice, that VersaFine always. Stamps really nice. Okay. Thought using a walnut stain after the black might give us a little heavier impression. Yep, especially around the outer edge. Okay, those look good. Okay, so I've got two four by sixes left. Let's do this pretty one here. This looks like, I don't know if it's ever been used, so let's season it using some VersaFine. 
It's a heavier ink than the Distress inks. So I think it'll be a better way to kind of season the stamp. Five minutes so what I wanted to do was kind of stamp for about 20 minutes and then decorate so we'll finish to oh that's really pretty look how pretty that is and that first of fine got every detail you can even read the words of the song that's awesome okay so now that we got a really good impression on that I'm gonna mix it I'm not gonna stamp it off completely I'm gonna mix it with the fired brick because I loved the way that looked on that other one. Okay, let's see how this turns out. Just making sure I'm pressing down every edge. On bigger stamps like this, it's easy to lose the stamping on the very edge of the stamp because you put a lot of your pressure down on the middle. Oh yeah, look how that looks. Kind of mixed with the black. I love that. Okay, that's a trick I'm gonna have to remember. Okay, I'm not gonna cut any more paper because we've got plenty to play with here. All right, and I do have one stamp we didn't use, but that's okay. Let me clear the decks here a little bit. Okay. So I'm not, I will end up either clipping or rounding the corners of these journal card ones. I'm gonna set these aside and let them make sure they're really dry before we use those. But here's all of these that we did. So um, I know, like I said, I'm probably gonna back these with book page. And um, let me clean my fingers here because I don't wanna get ink where it doesn't belong. And I've got inky fingers right now. So anyway, like I was saying, I'm gonna um, be back and put probably a book page in between these and um, backing them with another paper uh, just because they're on thin paper. So we wanna make sure that they have a nice weight to them before we put them in a journal. So I'm not gonna really cut these down. This is where our scraps and washi tape and things like that come in. So this is where we can add some color. So I've got some washi tape here. And I'm thinking this one is really pretty. I'm going to use my glue stick here. And I'm just going to tear some of that off. Put some glue on it. here at the bottom and I'm just gonna fold this over to 
just like that. So that adds a little bit of color there. And then I'm thinking at the top, where did I do with my scraps? There they are. Pull out some of my smaller scraps. Right here. And let's see kind of what we have in here. I've got strips, I've got all kinds of stuff in here. I think we keep with the red theme. These are those inked tracing paper that I did. Let's do all the way across with this one. around doesn't seem to want to stick or I didn't get glue right there glue page might be the finish of this paper I've never used this paper before but the washi tape seems to be sticking okay but that's also got its own adhesive too there we go that's better okay and then I'm thinking a pattern of something else. Let's do this. This is pretty. my art glitter glue on that. Ah. Okay. And that's that. And we may add like a word here or something when we go to embellish further. But right now I just want to kind of get through them, just kind of layering some papers. So that one's done. Let's do this red one. Let's see what I've got here. And my washi tapes. That's Pretty, but I think it's a little too wide. It's just some red and white stripes. That would be cute. Kind of go all the way across with that. or mostly all the way across. Like that. And maybe just a smidge of something in the corner here. This is really cute. Let's use this. Little snowflakes.
cute. Put a little bit of layering of some color up there. Maybe we'll go back to this one. I really like this one. We did two of that design, so let me put these aside. Let's pull in these two that we just did. They're probably dry now. I really like this as like my favorite washi. I definitely want to use this. I think it'll go really nice. So all we're gonna do is just layer some papers and layer some, let's see what we have in here. Let's see what I have in my strips here. Ooh, there's some holly. Need to tear it down some. Let's go all the way across with this. About to right there. And then we can cut it off. I'm just gonna tear the bottom. And then the line up on the edge here. Save that. We can use that. I'm going to turn this around. Just put this all the way on the top edge of that. Got glue there. Snip that off. Wondering. Let's do it. And then that washi tape will just be peeking out the top, which is really cute. Sorry for my shaky hands, guys. Like that with the washi tape peeking out the front I mean out the top of that at the bottom that one's really cute I like that one I'm not sure that I do anything else to that okay so that one's done let's work with this one I've got a little more space here at the top maybe I can do maybe one of my wider washi tapes of course I could always cut it I'm 
not sure gifts. Those are like presents. If that matches kind of the theme of this. There's Santa, there's Christmas trees. Look at the blue Christmas trees. What would that look like? You know what, let's just do it. I didn't glue that, so hopefully, I'm just gonna fold this over. And then we'll snip it off the top. Like we're never gonna know what it really looks like unless we put it down, right? Pretty cute. And maybe I can find something here that's got a little blue in it for the bottom. trimming all this white off here. When I go to decorate this, I'll probably put a little more of something, something there at the top, make it a little more interesting. But I just wanted to get some of the stamping and maybe I'll even continue with these in the next video. I'm not gonna put that on the edge. Yeah, I like that. Okay, all right, so we did two of the holly ones, we did two of those. Okay, let's look at these. Now, as far as the stamps go, obviously I'm just gonna cut those out. So I will fussy cut those later. Let's just cut these tags out. Okay. Not sure we'll have a whole lot of room on these to do much of anything, but we'll see. I'm just going to go around these little leaves a little bit. see if, if there's room to do anything with these. And if there's not, that's okay. You know what I might do is color in. Yeah, there's not really room. Just looking for my bigger hole punch. 
like a really cute um, hole reinforcer would look pretty right here. And so those will just be, I'll fussy cut these tags out and we'll back them to make them a nice weight. So those are fussy cuts, these are fussy cuts. Excuse me. Let me kind of clean up a little bit here. Check our time. Okay, we're at like 45 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is Cut our video off here and I think what we'll do is I'm gonna stamp the rest of my stamp there was this one last stamp that I wanted to use so we'll I'm gonna stamp some of that and then I'm gonna layer some more papers onto here just like I did here and then in the next video, we'll do one more video. I'll show you how I'll finish these up as far as more, like I wanna do more to this one. You know, it needs more, I think. So we'll do that in the next video. I'll show you how I'll do that. And then we'll have all these nice little journaling cards and tags. So this is fun. I'm glad I decided to do Christmas once a month because, uh, I miss Christmas when it's not here. I miss crafting with my Christmas stuff. And um, so this is, I think this is a great idea. So I hope you guys have a great day. God bless and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.